Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can turn this brush stroke. And this brush stroke is available on the Graphic Extras website. It's available in the Clouds brush section. And now, how you can turn it into a, a noise grain modified image and apply it as a brush stroke. Now, first thing to do, just going to create a noise effect. Now, one way of doing it, I'm just going to put that to black. Set that to black. And you can, of course, just use keyboard shortcut which is D but just apply ellipse so I'm just going to apply a few ellipses just over there now another way I could have done it of course would just go over the swatches just set those so just add quite a few little dots different uh, sizes I'm just gonna now obviously this isn't going to be the noise design this is just a start point for the noise so I'm just gonna add a few more and in different colors as well, so or different grayscale. Since brushes are grayscale, I'm not going to go for any colors. So, right, just go over there, add different gray and different sizes again. Like that, maybe some nicer ones. Right, so actually, once you've done that, now what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to go to filter and blur and Gaussian blur. And I just want to blur it just. That. So you get a nice base for the uh, next effect, which is the camera raw filter. So I'm just going to go, of course, with Photoshop, there's hundreds of ways of doing this, but this is just one way of doing it. So filter, camera raw filter, and I quite like the noise feature in this. So it's, it's quite a, once it comes up in dialogue, and you can see the, it's there, I'm just going to go over to the effects, and there's a grain option. So I'm just going to increase the grain. Don't have to actually do any others. You can, of course, if you want, make the size slightly different, the roughness. And then what you can do, you can actually apply, I always feel, do it a couple of times, just Gaussian Blur again, just there, and again, go to the camera raw filter and apply the same. Once the dialogue comes up, and just change the grain there. So you've got a sort of nice, sort of grainy effect. Now, what you can do, of course, just select that. And I'm just going to define that as a brush stroke. So I'm just going to go define, edit, define brush preset. Now go back to the cloud and not the cloud, the creative cloud. So I've actually created one earlier, but that one just makes certain that's been selected. And what you can do then, of course, is just, I'm just going to go to white and just, oops, edit, undo brush, set that to white. And just apply, just add that across the top. And again, you of course can go for black and just add some grain around there. That's probably a bit too much. So I'm just going to change the opacity. Again, just apply it around the edge of there. And of course, you can resize it. You don't have to go for the, so you can reduce it down to 143. Again, you can apply it around the edges a number of times, change the opacity again, and again, put it to white, so you can chop bits of the cloud away, so it's not a perfect image. And of course, you can also use these brushes as well in the other tools. So you've got here, you've got various sort of blur tool as well, so you can actually just go there you can actually apply, modify it, make it slightly blurred around there as well. So you've got that design, and then once you've done that, you can actually then, of course, select the whole of that and select Edit and Define Brush Preset. And there you have it, you've got a nice little, slightly more unusual, and you can apply the same effect, obviously not just on a cloud, but you've got this sort of nice distressed, sort of rough cloud, and I'm just going to apply it over the image So you haven't got a nice clean image, you can actually just create a variety of very rough designs. As well as creating obviously things like textures or overlays and much more. Again, play, apply it in white. Great for a whole range of different textures, maybe like in 3D effects as well. Anyway, hope you found this of interest.